everybody. My name is Curious Fox and I love stories. Today I'm going to read a story called Will the Witch. It's about a little boy named Will who's a witch but doesn't always feel like it. Would you like to read the story with me? You would? Great! Let's go! Will the Witch Will the Witch considered himself a very ordinary witch indeed. He had a broomstick the latest model actually which he was very proud of it looked like an ordinary broomstick that's to say a very nice top-of-the-range broomstick which could go extremely fast and do all kinds of tricks but an ordinary broomstick nonetheless he had a big black house the kind that all witches have it was a house that sat on top of a big hill far far away from the center of town it was a house with several chimneys from which always billowed black smoke from big black cauldrons holding evil potions that Will himself concocted. He had a black cloak, the same as any other which he knew, really a very fashionable cloak that fitted him perfectly and was the latest model of cloak, but still just an ordinary cloak. He had a cat. It was a little black cat that was almost always asleep in some corner of his big black house. A really very ordinary witch's cat. Yes, Will the Witch couldn't see how anyone could say he wasn't an ordinary witch. But somehow that's exactly what they did say. The other witches looked at Will and laughed to themselves. This Will, they cackled, does he think he's a witch just like the rest of us? Other people in town saw Will zoom past on his snazzy broomstick, but instead of crying, WITCH, like they did for other broomstick flyers, the townsfolk would simply cry, WILL. Will was never invited to witches' meetings, or witches' parties, or witches' weddings, or witches' picnics, or witches' anythings. He was a witch, but somehow he wasn't a witch. One day it was all too much for Will the witch slash non-witch. He packed up his belongings into one little black sack, closed up his big black house on the big hill, woke up his sleepy cat, placed it on the end of the state-of-the-art broomstick, where it immediately curled up and went to sleep, and without even one look over his shoulder, Will the witch sped off into the horizon. He traveled for days and days and days. Soon, though, he became hungry and started looking for a place to eat. He came across a big black house on top of a big hill with chimneys and black smoke billowing out of them. This house was really quite familiar. He parked his broomstick outside and knocked on the door. It creaked open and before him stood another witch. Hello, said this witch. Can I help? I'm Wally the Witch. Oh, hi, Wally, said Will uncertainly. I'm Will the Witch. I didn't think, I mean, I didn't know. I mean, you're a witch just like me. Wally laughed. Yes, he said. I suppose we are quite similar. I do like your cloak. It's very trendy. Would you like to come in? I've got some evil potions on the boil. One should be just about ready by now. And Will remembered all of a sudden that he was very hungry. Thanks, Wally. That would be very nice. It does smell quite delicious, he said, stepping into the big black house. After they had eaten, Wally asked Will where he was going, and Will replied truthfully that he didn't know. It's just that I'm tired of people telling me I'm not a witch, said Will. I don't know what the problem is. Yes, agreed Wally. That does sound tiring. I'd say the problem is with them, not with you, Will. Why don't you just stay here for a while? Maybe in a few days' time, people will have changed their minds. So Will moved into the big black house. And do you know what? He fitted right in. The end. Did you like that story? I did. I'm so glad you could join me. I hope you'll join me again next time with the Curious Fox. All right. Have a great day. Bye.